Hey everybody, it's Sunday here in Houston, Texas. I'm um, here a little early. There was no traffic today. This is like, I've never in two years, two and a half years, gotten to church this fast. There's no traffic. Where's the traffic today, right? Crazy. Um, in case you all didn't know, um, there was a, there was a, a nutty storm that came through Houston with a bunch of tornadoes in uh, Cyprus got hit real bad, but so did downtown Houston got hit real bad. There's still power out um, in you know areas. The 1960s is cleared up a little bit. Um, the uh, bunch of windows got taken out in high rises downtown because of the the wind or you know tor tornadoes blowing stuff around breaking windows um you know, so so houston's kind of kind of goofy right now but i uh got a call from roy jones senior i almost never get a call from roy jones senior he called me and i called him back um i thought he would be kind of might be concerned about the the storm because his daughter lives in houston but her and her husband are uh, in aruba on vacation and so i haven't been able you know and I haven't been able to talk to her since I got here. <clears throat> um, but I was talking. We were talking about all, ki all kinds of things about Roy Senior. I remember like twenty years after I stopped fighting for him. I looking back and I'm like, you know what? He played me like a harp. And I called him up. I'm like, how did you know? Right. And and uh, you know we started talking about all things and I, and you know he paid attention to stuff and that's something that. Um, the the apostle did he he paid attention to everybody and and when you do that when you pay attention to people it lets them know that you're at least important enough to that to you to be aware of them and what's going on with them and what they care about and what they need you know and 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 he he was on par with Roy Jones senior in that area you know and uh that's just one of the things that made him special man but he he was aware of everybody you know and, um, and he didn't judge them where they're at. You know, he what he did was, was you know, took them where they're at to, 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 to take them where they need to be. And he was a master at that. But that, that similarity with Roy Jones Sr. probably had a lot to do with my connection with him. And I'm grateful for it. I mean, it's that's part of what I always try to do is pay attention to people. Like when it comes to financials, you know, doing financial stuff, I do a lot more than most people do. If you look at my website, you know, the, my business is your business info. You know, I got the score navigator on there to help people with their credit. So, you know, that's a big problem with a lot of people. They got issues with that. Um, you know, the, the, quick mount um, franchise you know for veterans to get into a business without having to pay the franchise fee you know um, the gusto for you know payroll and HSA administration and, and group health and that kind of stuff and then um, I mean I what is on that website are those areas that I see a lot of people need and and I come across and, and I pay attention to so I try I try to be aware enough to be able to and help somebody right and so it's kind of in my nature okay but it's in my nature because of my exposure to guys like Roy Jones senior 
and uh, and uh, Apostle Michael Petro. And um, yeah, I'm always going to be doing that. Paying attention what their communication is, what their NLP is, their love language, their their temperament. Um, you know, I my radar is on for that stuff all the time. For the purpose of helping them out but again I picked up on that from those influences all right man have a good day